Time to see what's clicking in Cleveland, and for that, we say our first hello of the week to our digital anchor, Stephanie Haney. Hey, hello there. Hello, Betsy. Hello, Jay. All right, we know the Browns are done playing football. We know the Buckeyes are done playing football, but we do still have some football news. We learned this afternoon that Ohio State quarterback C.J. Stroud, he is entering the NFL draft, and Ohio State fans' hearts are breaking nationwide. <laughs> Stroud made the announcement on Twitter saying it was a hard decision, but he wants to fulfill his dreams of playing for the NFL. Now, he's been the starting quarterback for OSU for two seasons. He's got 22 wins under his belt, including at the Rose Bowl in 2021. The 2023 NFL draft starts on April 27th. We'll be watching. We wish you luck. And it was a spectacular performance, as always, by the Cleveland Orchestra for Martin Luther King Jr. Day weekend. They put on free shows each year, and the first free show was last night with another performance this afternoon. So the photo that we're seeing here shows the full house. This was at the concert at Severance Music Center on Sunday. This year's program included music by black composers Florence Price and William L. Dawson, among several others. And with it being Martin Luther King Jr. Day, in our question of the day today, we asked all of you at home how you're honoring the legacy of Dr. King. Steel Nowlin took this opportunity to share that he feels we actually don't honor the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. very well. He noted things he's not happy about, including voting restrictions, and said he feels our society too often tries to erode Dr. King's legacy. Now, Katara Crowell responded, she's a teacher. She told us that her fourth grade class read Martin's big words last week and did a research project on Dr. King and then made a craft on how they can make the world a better place. And this next comment kind of fits right in that line because Bill Wright said that he's honoring Dr. King today by trying to be the best person he can. And I think if we look at Dr. King's teachings, that's kind of what it was about. Do unto others and be good and you know think about the consequences of your actions and that kind of thing, so. Yeah. Content of character. Yeah. Those are the words that resonate so much for me about his famous speech. Judging not on color of skin, but on content of character. Mm -hmm. And if the world did that, I think it would be a better place. Oh, it certainly would. Thanks, Steph. Appreciate it.